In this video, I'll share with you five different ways in which you could use Excel or Google Sheets. And the goal is for you to try to see if you could use one or two of the ideas in the next year to see if it's gonna help you to be a more efficient, productive, a more organized educator. This is the Efficiency and Organization YouTube channel. My name is Rosanna Hernandez. I am a former classroom teacher. I am currently serving as a public school administrator and I've been doing this for five years as an administrator. Prior to that, I was a teacher for several years in the classroom. I have two small businesses. One of them is educational content creation. I create content on my website, which is efficiencyandorganization.com. Okay, so I give a lot of hints and information to educators on this channel. And one of the things I really wanted to focus on was how much over the years I used Microsoft Excel to help me. See, back in the day, we didn't really use Google as much as we do now, but it, we used Excel more, but now more and more Google is like more popular. And one of the best features is when you do use Google Sheets, you get to save it and you can access it anywhere in the world pretty much just by going online. So the one way that I think as an educator you could use Excel is to get to know your students. So what you would do is create some kind of a survey on Google. You could use Google Forms and then you ask the students simple questions like what's your favorite color? What's your favorite sport? What kind of foods do you like? And you can ask them about their birthdays, their interests. So maybe like six, seven, eight questions total. Then what you would do is when you collect the data, you would save it as an Excel sheet, as a Google sheet, because that way you could see what the most commonly answered answers are. So you can use those, some of those things, some of those assets, information about the students when you're teaching. For example, if you find out that most of your students like the color yellow, you might want to incorporate more yellow in your walls. You might want to incorporate more yellow in your PowerPoints, your presentations, right? Because that's what's going to appeal to them. The second way you can use Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel is by having information about your coworkers. So for example, you could put their names, you could say when their birthdays are. So when their birthday approaches, you could say happy birthday, you could give them a card or something. Uh, and you could put other things that are important to you to know about your coworkers. For example, who's teaching what content area, who's teaching like what grade level. For example, if you have one where you have teacher A, B, C, D, right? And then next to it, you have like all the grade levels that they teach or the content that they teach and the email addresses. Well, then what you could do is have a group when you're gonna send out an email, you just copy that whole list and then send them the email all at once. You don't have to type each person's email individually. You just copy the column and paste it on, onto your Outlook. The third thing you could do is lesson planning links. So for example, if you are a history teacher for maybe on the Revolutionary War or maybe on the US-Mexico War that you're teaching, what you can do is say, put the links to certain things like maybe YouTube videos or other videos. You could say where certain lessons are found so you can use Excel for lesson planning and organizing purposes. The next way is for calendaring. So for month, the month of January, you might have certain things you wanna do. For the month of February, certain things. For the month of March, certain things. So you can go ahead and plan each month individually. You can put, for example, that in the month of March, there's Pi Day, there's St. Patrick's Day, your students' birthdays, your coworkers' birthdays. So everything that you want to do in March, you could put on the March sheet. Everything you wanna do in April, you can do in the April sheet. So having like a Microsoft form or like a Google sheet to use for these purposes where it organizes you month to month is gonna be very useful to you as an educator. And before I give you the last one, please be sure to subscribe to this channel because all the information I share is on productivity, efficiency, organizing skills, goal achievement. So basically everything that's gonna help you to achieve more in your career, help you achieve more in your personal life, in your professional life as a leader. And so those are like my focus areas that I talk a lot about and produce a lot of content about. So if you think this, this is gonna help you, which I don't see how it can't help you, please be sure to subscribe. Okay, and the last reason is for students scoring information. 
So I did a video that is specifically on how you could teach students to use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets so that they could keep track of their own quizzes, keep track of their own tests, and even be able to create graphs that can visually show them how they're doing, if they're getting better or if they're getting worse and what the situation is. But you could do that also for all your students, okay? So you can use them two ways. You can either enter the scores from like assessments to see how they did and what you need to do moving forward, or you can use it for your PLC. So collect everyone's data and see how each teacher did. There are even software programs out there for this, but if your school or your school site doesn't have it, then you can use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. The other way I suggest is every now and then giving quizzes and assessments on Google Forms and then collecting the data. So let's say you assign four questions. That's it, just four questions. From the four, see how your students did. Did most of them excel in all four questions? Did they answer the way you wanted them to? Or was there a situation where let's say most of the students could not do number three as well as you wanted them to do? So if they didn't, what do you need to do to make sure that like you address it? Do you need to do some warm ups the next day? Do you need to talk about that the next day in class? Do you need to spend two days in class? So for your own planning and reteaching purposes, it'd be nice if you could do uh, Google Forms and then collect the data and then see how it looks. You can even make graphs for your own self if you'd like. In order for me to try to create more helpful informational videos for you, I'm going to need your help to tell me in the description what specifically you need help with. So for example, if you're like, you know what, I really like the idea of using the calendar, but I kind of want more information on that. If you could let me know in the description, I'd appreciate it. So that way I could focus my efforts in the next video on making that for you. On this channel, we are all a community. We're not just subscribers, we're a community where we share and exchange ideas. And so that's why it's so important for you to let me know you need the most help so I can address those. And if I can't help, then I need to be able to learn it and then pass on the information to you. And until next time, I will catch you in the next video.